had the privilege of being in nature all the time as I was growing up and really not seeing nature as separate from myself. When I started to learn about just what we were doing to our planet, when I learned about what we were doing to these last precious ecosystems, it felt like I was losing part of myself. I sat there as an 11 year old girl staring at these images of million year old forests being bulldozed. It really triggered something in me where I said, okay, well, I want to commit myself to being a voice for the voiceless and I want to be an environmentalist for the rest of my life. I was on my way home when um, that fourth typhoon hit and my mom called me up and said, don't come home because the roads to our house are already flooded. I didn't know if I had a home to come home to. We were listening to a battery powered radio to try to hear um, if our city was submerged completely. I'm 23, so I was basically born into the climate crisis. When people know and learn about climate change, you don't question its existence because we see it every day. In November of 2019, I saw these horrifying images of my country being engulfed in flames. When I experienced this despair and grief, I felt that that was a personal failure. I thought, I haven't worked hard enough. I haven't tried hard enough to stop this crisis. In that moment, I decided, okay, well, I want to understand the role of mindset. I want to understand why we shut down, and I want to understand how we can use those feelings that I'd experienced from the age of 11, the eco-anxiety, how we could use them to actually catalyze people to step up rather than shut down. Hey, Mitzi, are you there? Hey, Clover, how are you? <laughs> Hi, it's so good to see you. I'm doing really, really well. How are you doing? I'm good. It's been too long. I feel like you know, so much has happened in the past few months, although it has only been the past few months, but like, there's quite a lot happening. You know, I think what became really clear to me with the IPCC report and the thing that has like stuck with me, climate scientists are telling us there is basically a 50-50 chance of being able to avoid the worst climate tipping points. To me, it just clicks that this is the latest wave of revolutions and we're just going to keep continuing fighting for a better future. And it will be hard and it will be long. And so you have to find your community and you have to base your activism. I would do it from love. Um, that doesn't mean that you don't get angry or you don't get sad or you don't get afraid. But my reason why I'm angry, my reason why I'm sad, my reason why I'm afraid is because of that love for the people and the planet and this community. Each of us has a problem, whether that is food waste or fast fashion. We all have a problem that ignites something within us. Impact really comes from focus. What we need more than ever are people putting up their hands and saying, you know, that's the thing that I'm going to take action yeah. on.